Hi Scorpio, welcome to your November monthly reading. I'll begin right away with an oracle card. See what your main vibe is for the month of November 2022. Scorpio, my water signs. Oh wow, gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. One of my favorites of this oracle deck. So going back to your gratitude practice will really bring more abundance. You can make a gratitude list or just have a mental checklist throughout your day of all the things to be grateful for. And I feel like that will really raise your vibration and bring you more prosperity. All right, Scorpio, I'll continue with the general tarot, which I will clarify with another tarot deck. And then I'll finish off the video for you with two more oracle cards. Got the three of pentacles flying out right now. Ooh. <laughs> There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on right now for you, I feel. Queen of Cups. I do like this. I do love this combo, actually. The Queen of Cups for me with the Three of Pentacles is all about using your intuition, using your gifts, your unique gifts, and combining them with your work or your career or with your business or within your community. So that's always a good thing. I find your getting a, actually a deeper connection within your work environment, within your community. You're meeting people, you're networking. I do like that. That feels actually really fun. You're networking in a way where it doesn't feel like business. Queen of Swords flies out as I'm saying it doesn't feel like business. <laughs> I would say she's the business lady of the tarot. But that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> You're more the Queen of Cups, which is being emotional, being more intuitive and connected. The Queen of Swords has her emotions on lockdown. So through your connection with the community, you've actually opened up and become more vulnerable, but still maintaining your Queen status. And I really love that. <laughs> I love this for you. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, you're finding that balance between being the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups, which is not always easy. So it's good to have that community around you, the friends around you, that support, support system around you. Oh wow, and the Queen of Wands float out reversed. I only do reversals if it flies out that way. So this is the blocks and the lessons you're almost embracing this fiery element. You've already embraced the air and the water. And I feel like this will turn around if you embrace your passion. What are you passionate about? What makes you feel alive and brings you that spark and that joy in the morning to get out of bed? I'll leave her in the reversed for now. Though I really feel like that's borderline turning up, right? <laughs> But that's how it flew out. So we'll keep going. Ten of Cups. Yeah, it, it's possibly because this Ten of Cups relationship ended. I feel like that could be why your passion is a little bit in the reversed position, which is actually understandable. You just ended an emotional cycle. That's really what I feel like is the lesson or the block. It's not really ever a block. It's more just... No, it can be an energetic block. <laughs> it's be real, but it's all about knowing the block, becoming aware of it, and then moving forward in a way. And I feel like you are doing that with the Queen of Cups. Like she literally is energetically removing blocks. So that's really interesting. I believe his name is Jeffrey Allen from Mind Valley. He has really interesting talks about energy blocks. All right, let's keep going. Six of Cups. I like the Six of Cups above the Six of Pentacles. So your person or situation, if it's a love reading for you, is thinking about how to bring back this balanced energy. They are going 
into the space of reminiscing about you, thinking about you, and they see you as this queen of pentacles. So this is the fourth queen. I do love that. The only one that needs to be upright is the queen of wands. So finding that passion. But the coins are coming in that does match the three of pentacles with the six of pentacles. Such a good reading, Scorpio, for November for you. Page of Swords, Intentions. So still, it's almost my card of maintaining that curiosity about your work. So you could do more study, more self-study, more research, all of those things. And that's going to increase your pentacles into this queen status because they're right beside each other there. All right, Knight of Wands is above the Queen of Cups. So you could actually have been thinking about a younger fire sign, somebody that is going to be bringing back that passion, turning this Queen of Wands around for you. You definitely know intuitively you'll have an emotional connection with them, but they are gonna be passionate. They're gonna be enthusiastic and spontaneous with that energy, I do love that. King of Pentacles, message from the universe. I'll pull one more. I want to see what's going on with this King of Pentacles for you. And justice, okay, so yeah, there's justice coming with this King of Pentacles. I feel like some of you could be getting some money coming in based on something that happened in the past so that's really positive. It could have been an investment and now you're going to be seeing the rewards of that in, in the future. That's a reminder just not to be worried. It's also knowing your worth, I feel, knowing that you can be grounded and abundant and content within this life. And that will balance out your passion too, having that grounded energy of the coins in this material world. I know it's not everything, but it will help have or to have that safety. Whether it's real or in your imagination, <laughs> that's really the message I'm feeling. Which is which is so true. Because some millionaires still live from a place of fear and they're not really content or the King of Pentacles. They're more yeah exactly just living from a scarcity mindset even though in the material world they have so much abundance all right so let's keep going i'll clarify with the everyday tarot for you scorpio oh judgment Ooh. okay so i feel like you've been asking for the things that you want you've been praying meditating really putting yourself out there spiritually, trying to connect with your guides. That's really what I'm picking up with this card. So that's beautiful. Put that above the Queen of Pentacles. That's actually causing you to have a lot of clarity with the Queen of Swords and a lot of peace with the Queen of Pentacles. So I love that. Keep that. Practice up. The Hangman. Yeah, if you learn to surrender to the energies, you're learning to sink into that space of curiosity. It's above the page of swords there. That's really a nice place to be. Spending time with your community, surrender to that vibe too. Five of pentacles. So just a reminder that you are not one to come from a uh, lack mentality. You really were born into a place of abundance. You have so much to be grateful for and you can turn it around if that's your mindset. Just be gentle with yourself. Work through any blocks that you have. You can do some journaling with that page of swords again and finding that passion with this knight of wands possibly. <laughs> All right, I'll pull one more and then we'll get into the oracle cards and the moon. Yeah, that's a nice clarification for 
doing some shadow work, just going into that subconscious part of your mind, just knowing it's not a scary place, it's a place of transformation and a place of, I'm hearing the word intrigue and can be a really magical place as well. Okay, oracles, <laughs> Scorpio. Let's start with the Priestess of the Light this time. For November 2022, number 18, Bright Heart Light, Open Connections. Yes, this matches perfectly the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So you're keeping that heart space open, you're trusting your intuition, you're making those connections, you're networking this month. So it's a really beautiful, beautiful card and she's, she's amazing. And I also feel like she is coming from a place of gratitude from the first oracle that we pulled. Matches those colors, that green. Also matches the Queen of Pentacles over here. All right, final message, Cosmic Dancer for Scorpio, November 2022. Number 15, give birth. All right. Some of you could be having a baby in November. That's beautiful. Congratulations. It's also my card of giving birth to a vision, to a dream. And November is the month to really go for it and to really do that for yourself. So that's a nice reminder, a nice place to end the reading. Hope you found some clarity from this one, Scorpio. Enjoy the first half of November. I'll see you for the mid-monthlies and for the extended love readings and then going into December. Bye for now.